KTMM. What's up, y'all? It's your boy JTMM, aka Just Ten More Minutes, aka The Freaking Ten, back with another video. So this time, it's not an artist that you've probably heard of. Um, he's independent, not in the genre that I'm normally covering. Uh, I haven't covered a lot within this yet. I plan on it. With that being said, I'll give you a little background. Um, I got a follow the other day on Twitter, and I, I saw his name, and I was like, okay, let me go check him out. Had a blue check mark when checked out, saw he's an artist, and I was like, okay, fair enough. Reached out to him, and I said, hey, Michael, can I go ahead and react to one of your videos? He goes, yeah, that would be great. So I've gone out and picked a random video. This one's called Far From Home. It's about a year ago. Uh, I do know he's got some music out on Spotify. And as always, I haven't checked anything out. I, I haven't read these lyrics yet. This is as new to me as it is to you. So with that being said, I've got the lyrics. I got the video. I got the sound. Everything looks good. There's only one thing left to do. Let's switch it up. Very, very excited about this. I, I always love listening to an independent artist for the first time and seeing what they're capable of. Uh, so with that being said, let's do it. Far from home. Hey, I've got a million things on my mind, it's alright I'll spare you the details, I could go on all night But I'm falling, I'm falling, my hands just let go Your voice is my way out of this place, I know, yeah This fades to light. I've been driving down the road. I've been feeling so alone. I've been staring at my phone, but I don't know what I'm looking for. I'm looking for a little something more in this life. I know that I haven't done things right, but inside myself is that fight. I know I'm not around to watch my sister grow up. I know my family thinking, does he even know us? And I don't know. Do I choose music or love? And I don't know. Okay, so <clears throat> first impression. I like the intro with the voicemail. That was pretty cool. Um, intro wasn't too long. You didn't come in and try uh, to overpower or try to create um, what mainstream music does is they usually come in and try to put this whole chorus right at the front. Um, and the problem with that is, is that it doesn't really stick, right? Everybody will remember those lyrics, but they won't remember the rest. So I like the fact that you kind of built up to it with that voicemail. You, you let the beat build up really nice beat on the intro. Um, nice production. So it comes in and I've got a million things on my, my mind. It's all right. I'll spare you the details. I could go on all night, but I'm falling. I'm falling. My hands just let go. Your voice is way, excuse me, your voice is my way out of this place I know. All I know this place is, all I know I just feel so far from home, just so far from home. So it's, it's a nice hook. I like the hook there. But really what I really, really, really like so far is this first verse. My latest nights are my greatest nights. Hoping the darkness will just fade to light. I've been driving down road, the road. I've been feeling so alone. I've been staring at my phone. But I don't know what I'm looking for. And looking for a little something more in this life. I know that I haven't done things right. But inside myself is a fight. So that right there 
you know, I started to kind of get a gist, of, I think, of what the song was about right from that get get go, especially when you're talking about you don't know what you're looking for, um, because it seems like this is about you and music and taking that journey and being so far from home, you know, and not quite sure, you know what you want, but at the same time, it's that you don't know what you're looking for. To some way that, that may sound like a, a strange battle, but it's a hundred percent the, the battle, especially with independent artists, you know where you want to go, right? But the, there's, limited places on how you get there so i really like that and then you go on to say <clears throat> i'm not around to watch my sister grow up i know my family's thinking does he even know us you know and for a lot of independent artists there is a grind right especially you know depending on how big your fan base is as you're starting out you've got to get out there and get yourself noticed as the video I just created for Ginger with Captain Clock and covering all the aspects of time, it's truly the battle that you're against as an independent artist of time. You really have to hit that that market at the right time in the right place to truly catch fire um, on that mainstream level. So there's a huge grind behind it. And for the ones that are listening that would not normally listen to this music, y'all know this with Ginger and um, Unleash the Archers and the other videos I've done with those independent artists, you know, they had a grind to go get where they are today. So uh, I can appreciate that. And then your next line of, do I choose music over love? Because you have a love for music, right? But also family. And, and that is a tough choice. As you said, I don't know. Could I be a better son? I don't know. Sometimes I just, sometimes I hate it here. Should I just go home? Or excuse me, should I go home? I just want to feel okay. I should go home. I like the lyrics. You're telling a really, a really good story. Um, I like your beat switches and your vocal switches, right? Because you kind of do a little bit of singing, but then you switching, switching to just the straight rapping. That's a really good touch. Um, these are some genuine lyrics. I like that. No corporate BS behind it. All right. I'll back it up a little bit. Let's go. I just want to feel okay. And I got a million things on my mind. It's all right. I'll spare you the details. I could go on all night. But I'm falling, I'm falling. My hands just let go. Your voice is my way out of this place. I know, yeah. Oh, I know. I like that hook. This place is all right. Cool touch with the family pictures. Two lights on my porch. I don't really think that I could take more of this fighting and yelling, all this crying and all these voices so loud thought we were family i hate it i see my angel on earth i know it hurts to the greatest i pray of a day this could all work yeah and when nobody gets hurt um when a rose grows in this dirt and no tears drop on my shirt i've been through it all i've seen it all fall apart i've seen two fits up on christmas they swinging right through the heart i've seen fathers and daughters turn into foes and strangers i've seen brothers and sisters talk and go say that they I wish you'd step from the edge And just please let someone save you Cause it's a long fall down Don't let the darkness go take you I said Holy crap This is This is easily one of the As far as lyrics go Michael This is a strong lyric Okay, guys, so let me break this one down. Dim lights on my porch. I don't really think I could take any more. Of this fighting and yelling, all this crying and hatred. All these voices so loud. Thought we were family, I hate it. I see my angel on earth. I know it hurts her the greatest. 
I pray, of a day that this could all work. Yeah, and when nobody gets hurt, when a rose grows from the dirt, and no tears drop on my shirt. I've been through it all, and these next lines are just uh, so common these days, which is really sad, but so powerful. And when you say this, I've seen it all fall apart. I've seen two fists up on Christmas. They're swinging right from the heart. I've seen fathers and daughters turn into foes and to strangers. I've seen brothers and sisters talk and go say that they hate you. That's some deep lyrics. I like that. I wish you'd step from the edge and just please let someone save you because it's a long fall down. Don't let the darkness go take you. That right there, talking about where you really wish that the whole family dynamic would work, right? And when you could could have that day, I mean, and the rose grows from the dirt symbolizing you know, that the relationship are blooming, that they're strong, they've got strong roots, and then they're taking bloom. That is, uh, that's a great image. No tears on your shirt. And then to go back and again, I've seen two fists up on Christmas, they're swinging right for the heart. I've seen fathers and daughters turn into foes and then strangers. I've seen brothers and sisters talk and go say that they hate you. That lyric set impressed me. All right, let's 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 go back to the hook. I really like your hook as well. It's catchy. It's not... It's not dorky, right? I mean, we know we've all heard this, and, and you know, Michael, I know you've heard it in, in the industry, where some people just create a, a hook that just tries to be catchy, but it ends up being really dorky. This isn't. Let's go back a little bit here. Let the dog just go take you. I said, I've got a million things on my mind. It's all right. I'll spare you the details. I could go on all night, but I'm falling, I'm falling. My hands just let go. Your voice is my way out of this place. I know, yeah. Wow. All right, let me switch it up. Let me get my thoughts because uh, when I when I go back through, right, and I look at the lyrics again, especially after seeing that, you know, uh, second verse, and I think about now on on verse one, it makes me think about it a little bit more, and and wonder were you leaving because of music or again as you said in that second verse it, just a a destructive atmosphere that you couldn't be as creative as you want to be i really think that's probably more of what you're going for than the music i was really thinking your love of music and it keeping you out on the road but really going back into that second verse which is so damn powerful you know talking about the fighting and yelling and all of that, that that you've seen drove you away. And now you're thinking about going back because you are far from home. Um, probably uh, not just physically, but also emotionally. Um, that's really cool. That's a deep song. Um, I, I think for a lot of, you know, at least for, for my subscribers... It may not be their cup of tea simply because of the type of music they may listen to. For me personally, I'm very interested in hearing your other stuff. Um, simply because you put out good music, right? Um, your lyrics are true and genuine. They're not, A, they're not, I'm going to go to the club and drink a bunch and do weed and 
do all this other stuff that we hear. These are genuine lyrics in a genuine song. So I appreciate that in an artist. So, um, and I haven't said your last name, Michael. I apologize. Uh, I'm unsure how to pronounce it. So I don't want to miss mispronounce it. So um, if you just want to hit me up and let me know on the next video, I will make sure everybody knows. But please go check out. And I will, actually, I will go right here. I'm going to list this right here. I normally don't do this for, for artists, um, but you can say, see right here all of his information. So he's got his website, he's got his Instagram, his Twitter, everything. If you like this particular song, go hit him up. You can support him on Spotify, Apple Music, Amazon Music, and Google Play. I really like this. I'm actually going to uh, do more of your music, Michael. So um, if there's a song that really helps start your journey, just reach out to me and let me know. With that, guys, I'm out of here. Have a great weekend. Be safe, be happy, and more importantly, always be you. And always remember, if somebody asks you to stop what you're doing, don't ask for one, don't ask for two, don't ask for five. Always ask for just ten more minutes. I love each of y'all. I'm out. KTML.